how are you all? I'm going to try to give you a higher quality product. So I'm going to check and see who's there. Who's the first one to say hello in the comments? I know I only have about 500 people and like 30 max in one video. But I did have a lot of new stuff I wanted to show you. This is the Piri Race world map. And what you see here are weird things in the ocean and maybe a possibility of being the uh, Benimi Road. Benimi, sorry, Benimi Road. And I can show you later, but right here next to Miami is the Benimi Road. It's right in the middle of the ocean. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't say that. Uh, it's near an island. Of course, it's not. Is this a photograph? This is a photograph. I don't want to show you that photograph. There's other things found under the ocean, but this is the Benini Road. Now, these are really low-quality pictures, and apparently this was just discovered in the 60s or something. That's interesting. Um... Let me just pull this up and see who's chatting. Sorry, lots of distractions. These are monolithic. And the one thing I didn't find, and I was looking for it, and I couldn't find it, was the ones in Russia that I had just discovered. In fact, I was even looking at the uh, ones in uh, the the YouTube history seems to have disappeared. I don't know what happened to them. I'm trying to prepare for this. Monolithic. But I have to I be honest. Was... Hello. Neronius, nice to see you. Okay, back to talking directly. Uh, so these are this is the Bimini Road, and it's over by Miami. And uh, these are other things. This is from megalips.org or New Earth YouTube. I'll just go through this stuff really quick. I don't want to be boring. And uh, this is the road underwater right now. And it reminds me so much of the Russian one that I just watched on YouTube, and I, I forgot to prepare the name. But I'll just put this down because I want to get it. These are some other pictures from New Earth or Mega, Meg, what is it called? I forgot their name just now. Uh, but here we are, north of Bimini. So marble beams were and slabs with marble buildings were found north of Bimini. So it's not just the road. There's temple-like, uh, what do you call those things? And this is Andros Island. I think that's also, if I'm not mistaken, nearby. If I'm wrong, that's in the middle of the Atlantic, right? Uh, that's kind of an interesting little one. We see, we see another picture of that. I'll show you later. These are all under the ocean. Same thing. Okay, this, they say it's Bimini Road. If that's true, then it's obviously man-made. I keep seeing this thinking, well, where's that at? We've got, and it's hard to see these. Uh, I have to look this up again with a higher resolution. Yeah, Bimini, two words. That says Bimini. Thank you. Well, whatever. I'm just going to say what's the easiest uh, because I can barely speak. Okay, there's that thing again, and that's at megaliths.org. That's New Earth. Uh, what's her name, Sylvie? So there's the uh, maps that I've found, and... I'm just trying to get this down because I just got a comment from Charles Koss telling me the name because I was trying to think of him. And I'll show you why in a second, but I'm not seeing. Okay, I'm going to close this. And I'm going to. This map is supposed to show something here. This is the Piri Race world map. And I was thinking I would see something better because I wanted to see words. Unfortunately, I can't read any of this. So it's all Arabic or some other type of a Sanskrit type of writing. Maybe I shouldn't say Sanskrit. I'm going to close that down at this point. But, but you can also see stuff over here at uh, Mauritania, and you can see that mud bank here. If you're into uh, the concentric circles, like I think you probably are, what we see here is uh, the Senegal River for sure. But so where's that river going? It's going right to the mountains, and those mountains is the eye of the Sahara. And I can show you that. I can demonstrate that to you now. But not today. Uh, I wanted to show you a different thing here, but you know, there's my Google Hangouts, which is actually leaving soon. Let me just go through the web links because I opened them all up. Uh, here we are, Florida. The Benini Islands are right there. 
I got this one pulled up, but then I grabbed a screenshot. Oh, it's going to play that game again? Okay, one word, Bimini. Bimini, Bimini <laughs> now I'm messing it up again. Okay, Bimini Road. Uh, there it is. I zoomed in. You can't see anything. I thought you could at first, but you cannot. Uh, but here's some searches. And the first thing you see is this here. It says the ancient Bimini Harbor. It says uncovering the great Bimini hoax. It's like, are you kidding me? Somebody's debunking this. And a lot of pictures that pulled up in the search. I'm, I'm not going to. Uh, maybe that's higher resolution. I have that too, but. I don't want to spend a lot of time. I just want to remind myself because I have to thank uh, Dr. Charles Koss. And there's where I I copied the title for this video, Bimini, Bimini Road and Atlantis. Okay, I can barely speak. This is an interesting uh, article about it. That being said, there's another interesting – oh, that's very short. Not sure why I have that open, but – yeah, the reason why is because I didn't want to... Okay, this is not Bimini. This is Yanaguni. So you have to know the difference between Yanaguni and Bimini. This is near me, actually. Where am I? Well, I might as well flash that right now and uh, tell you I'm right here. In wonderful Taipei City. And by the way, if you haven't seen the books that I published in the past... I am giving one free copy away to the, anyone who super chats me or Patreons me. And in addition to that, if it's significant, I'll send both books. And if it's super significant, I'll get you the hardcover signed. That's it. This is a great topographical map. I talked about this already, though. So I'm going to go back to what I was showing you. The Yanaguni, did I remember it? Underwater, a submerged city in Japan. And here we have something down in near Cape Town, South Africa. Uh, that is, I don't know. I heard the scans do that. But back to Bimini, this looks interesting. It looks like some piece of metal grating fell to the bottom of the ocean. But this right here, that's significant to me, to me. Like nobody would do that if they had to submerge to do it. It's just too hard. Uh, but it doesn't look very even, does it? So, the mystery of Bimini Road. Some people say it's a natural phenomenon. This is some picture I found, but it's showing uh, something near Bimini. So, it was like trying to say concentric circles. As far as I'm concerned, the concentric circles are pretty much here. I don't see any other concentric circles. I did see the Edgar Casey link. But, you know, I like to try to find new stuff because that his information is like 100 years old, right? Now, this right here in the Sphinx file, I was just grabbing some images of this is the type of um, – what's the name of the type of uh, thing? That's Okay, so I messed up here. There it is. Uh, promontory. These types of promontories are probably what the Sphinx was carved out of. Somebody probably thought, look, that looks like an eagle, right? That looks like it could be kind of the head of a lion. That looks like it could be the Sphinx. And this is a, it's a video I was watching called Secret Knowledge Hidden Underneath the Great Sphinx. I think that was Dr. Charles Koss. But that picture right there kind of reminded me of this mini mesas that the Sphinx could have been made out of. Um, going back, okay, so, but I'm getting off soft, the topic. Let me just go through the Sphinx folder really quick because um, I just grabbed the, yeah, promontory. So I was just kind of getting more information about the Sphinx, but what I did notice right next to the Sphinx is the Mycarina Pyramid. It's the smallest of the three. Uh, I noticed this casing stone. I was shocked because I hadn't seen it before. I hadn't really noticed it. And then maybe it's not as fine as the Polynic polygonal walls in the Peru, but at the same time, you still see the same type of uh, carving of the edges and the knobs, and uh, as you get out, you can see a bunch of them have knobs right there over the thing. Now, that looks like it may some, be some kind of modern-day work, the entrance, and this, I think it was, who did the great description? Was it Charles? Yeah, Dr. Charles Koss. He did a great explanation of this hole. So uh, I really think that's a great video you should watch. I think he just did that. 
And if I'm, if I'm wrong, I can help you find it. But I just was amazed because you don't see this on the other two pyramids. I mean, you see some big stones. Now, the Sphinx, if you haven't seen my video on the Sphinx's head, you know this is ancient cement covering up a piece of limestone. I can talk about this more, but uh, I'm not going to. This is definitely ancient Egyptian cement work covering up a piece of limestone, which is a completely different color. And that piece of limestone is, a, I'm saying, like up to 30,000 years old, and that was just explained in another video I just watched. Uh, look at the difference in color between that. So you can't tell me. That's a fresh picture. You can't tell me that the Sphinx, now uh, what a Sphinx is, a, a human head on a lion, I think that that was invented by the creation of the Sphinx, but it's pretty much consensus that it's a lion's body, not a dog's body. I don't know. I'm not betting myself on anything. Okay, so that those pictures right there are trying to explain my mentality about megalithic structures around the world, like something like this. And this is, again, Bamini Road. So the connection between megalithic structures and Atlantis, to me, it's all one thing. So Japan or Taiwan and Bimini Road, which is Miami, and I guess you can say Cuba is a little different. Let's just go through here. I'm just going to finish this video. Not a lot of chats, just two viewers. What a shame, right? Saw a couple presentations on Bimini Road. I guess nobody cares about Bimini Road. And I guess everybody accepts the fact that ancient cultures used to live down where the sea has risen from and covered somehow. 40 feet. The Bimini Road is only 15 feet, right? So it's actually not so not so hard to believe. Okay, I'm almost through these. I showed you my pictures. I think I'm done. I just wanted to get this on video. That's another picture. This is of the Azores. So Azores, I got a, uh, I get confused by the Azores, and I think the Azores are on the Mid-Atlantic uh, Ridge, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong, because those pictures are awfully clear. Uh, preparation is really important. I also uh, just today learned about Spartel Island, and uh, that was interesting. But it's not big enough to be a separate continent, right? I mean, if you're going to go by what Plato described, it's not a separate continent. It's just an island between two continents. I do have a nice pictures of, where is that? Right here. The Pillars of Hercules, high resolution, really nice picture coming soon. And uh, this is it. So the thing about this, and I should probably put, talk about maps now. Maps. Uh, because one of the maps, which I will show you in a moment, shows this completely put together, right? But to have an island right here, uh, you'd have to be a, a little bit lower, like a lot lower. Well, it depends on how low can it go, right? So this is a, the Pillars of Hercules. Over here, there's supposed to be something. I've never been there, of course. And uh, let me go through the pictures on my desktop. Tenemore Crater, interesting topic because we've got um, some interesting squares over here to the left. And somebody was writing about how that was at the second Atlantis that got really destroyed when this this whatever hit. And that's for like right up here. So kind of makes sense, this whole Poseidon kingdom story myth. Uh, right over here, you can see the Tenemore Crater right there. In fact, I wonder if it's even visible on here. It's a little bit too small. It's about right there. Okay, I think I am got through there. Again, if you want uh, to understand where I'm standing with these broadcasts, they're almost done. I'm not going to do many like this because Hangouts on Air is going away later this year. So I think I'm going to be uh, actually migrating these videos to a new channel soon because this is uh, really poor feedback for me. i got to get this Patreon thing moving. So I'm probably going to move all the videos to the Patreon level. Oh, what else was I going to show you? That's about it. Um, oh, yeah, the maps, the maps. Okay, so here we are looking at the ancient maps. Somebody asked me about this map, uh, Mape Monde, D-A-I-I-D-R-I-S-S-I-V-E-R-S, -S 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 1150. 
So it was showing, basically, it was showing an interesting complex of maybe lakes or waterways where the, um, I got confused now. Oh, I see. This is the, this is the, um, the Nile right here. And this is the Senegal River right here. So they come together in this spot right there. And who knows what these five uh, lakes, or sorry, rivers or whatever. There's these three lakes. Somebody always said that they came together. And ancient civilizations were, you know, actually taking advantage of that. That's what they say, right? That's kind of a low-res map. I need to get the high-res one. There is a round. This is actually uh, the Ortelius map. And the thing is, is it shows that... Well, this is really low res too, right? I always grab the wrong one. But what we can see from that is that you certainly do see the Senegal River going all the way there and the Nile coming here, almost meeting. But you've still got a big piece of Nile going all the way down to a lake in the middle of uh, Africa down there. And as for Huadain, you do see a river going up there. Huadain. Okay, so moving on, I guess I'm the only person here. These maps are, this one's not labeled, I'll find the other name, but these maps are quite common. You can find several versions of them. And uh, I think it's kind of interesting, that's Cape Verde, so this is the beginning of the Senegal, but as you see it stretches like that, that's the Senegal River. But you do see it going straight up to what is clearly this this one. It looks like it's above uh, Cape Blanco, but it goes clearly to a little mountain. And you've got, what is that, a lake? Is that Senegal? So, yeah, sorry. I'll go up here to probably, the, this is the Eye Mountains, the Adrar Plateau at least. These maps and this one if you look at it you can see very clearly this says Africa tabla right and if you type that into the search engine you're going to find a bunch of these they're not hard to find so again cape verde is here senegal river with these little circles lakes whatever and then you've got several other this is i can't see it clearly but what you do see is the sand in the ocean this is where the i think that this is the taman reset area above this mountain and then below this mountain is the eye right there. Now what you can do is see the Tropic of Cancer so you can follow it out. But this is kind of hard to see, but there's a bunch more like this. So again, I've shown this map in the past and it's funny that you see there's a connection here. Now are they exaggerating when they do this or is there really no through street? That's the big question and this map, it looks like this is actually quite recent. It's, um, where is that year? I thought the year was on here. Like the 1500s. So, this is another one. You, again, you can just type that in and you can see. I've, I've got a new one. These are, I've already shown these. But this would be Cape Verde right there, maybe. And so that's got to be, where's the river? Oh, this is too far north. See, this this doesn't show the Senegal River. And this is Atlas Major right here. So the Atlas Major Mountains are actually quite close to the eye of the Sahara. And I can show you in another map. These just these are things that I just grabbed because uh, yeah, this is not so nice. Let me get that out of there. I already showed you this. So I've gone through all the maps, and so that means I'm almost done. But as I was saying earlier, uh, this map, the Ortelius world map, looks like it was kind of based on that other map that I showed you. That's it. I don't know if you have any questions. Thank you, children of Atum. You just got here. You know, I do have a couple of other things I might do videos on, like sprites. I don't know if you know what sprites are. Yeah, why is that in here? This is showing the uh, supposed river going down to the Senegal uh, from there. So, and I do know that here there used to be a, a river exiting here and going down, but it was coming out on the north side there. There's a river here that I didn't realize was 
indented. If you look at this other picture here, you can see the white is 700 meters. The sun yellow is actually just 200 meters. So it's actually lower than even the eye itself. There's a river going through there, an ancient river. And there you can actually see a dam here. All my old videos here, the ancient canals, no, they're probably dams. Um, so I have to rescind, uh, rescind. I have to take back a lot of what I was saying. I have to make amends with that. But down here, there is one canal that's like 20 meters, 20, uh, sorry, 20 kilometers long. And that one, take a good look at. I think that this is still a canal. But I think it's going up into this mountain and going down into meet this river here. So... As I was saying, I have to kind of clarify a bunch of stuff. What was I looking at? That's it? Uh, there's something else I was showing you. It must be the maps. I finished the maps. Don't look at that. I have to vent that. I guess I was looking at these pictures here. Oh, yeah, it was this right here. So, uh, yeah, there's a, that's an ancient river. Basically, the river probably came out here, went up, went in here, through this mountain right there and then to the eye. And so they must have had something here or there was less mountainous. We gotta get some nice pictures of that. I have to be honest, uh, I have to study that more. I have to zoom in right here because I wanna see maybe that canal just went over this mountain, but it's a straight line, you know? It seems very weird that it would be a river, a natural river. I'm gonna be looking at that later, but I have some things to do. I'm going to do videos on sprites. This is very interesting petroglyph. I kind of want to know more about that. This is an interesting picture of the Rashad structure. And what we can see from this picture is there is a clear river bed here. It's very clear now. And I think that if you want to know where a gap went through, I think you definitely have a canal that went through here for Poseidon's time or Atlas time. But over here, I think that this, this one it was here. And I think there may have been another one right here, but if you uh, realize this is a very significant, if you're gonna say there were canals, you can't say there was a canal here or here or here unless it filled in, but definitely a canal through here, maybe over here, and then, then maybe a canal through here. I doubt it, I think it was like maybe through here, and I think there was a canal through there. That's it. What else is there to talk about? I think I'm finished. I just wanted to get this on record. So that was what I did, and I'm, I'm almost done. The Hangouts on air will end, so I won't be able to do videos like this anymore. And I'm doing it so I can actually create videos that I can later use in other projects at this point. Anyways, I don't really want people to super chat me because it's taking 30% and giving it to YouTube, and I think that's really inefficient and unreasonable. It's fun, and maybe in small amounts, if somebody did it for, say, 150 bucks, I would give them a hardcover of my first book. But, um, and Patreon's the other way to get that book. You could probably just give me 100 I See, I don't have money from Patreon. Patreon doesn't go to my bank account in Taiwan. So that's my dilemma. It's not a dilemma. It's my, um, it's, uh, there's another word. Okay, it's a problem. Have a good evening. I'm out of here. Did I say that? Did I show that the whole time? This is my broadcast console. I guess I'm glad everybody could hear me. There's two people watching. Thanks for your thumbs up. I'm out of here. Have a good day. It's 3.30 p.m. in Taipei. I need to get a job. Have a good day and bye-bye.